Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Brendan Parker, back again with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on uh, Dreamweaver, get you started a little bit for beginners who never used Dreamweaver before and want to understand how to use it, because it can be confusing a little bit. But what I noticed in the CS5 version of Dreamweaver, it's a lot easier than all the other versions to get started in Dreamweaver a little bit. So I'm just going to open up a basic uh, new file, which is an HTML. And what's nice with uh, Dreamweaver is that when you open up any document or whatever, it'll give you uh, a starting point. Like right in here, it give you a little uh, information to get started, like all the coding a little bit that you would need to get started. Like right in here, a lot of websites and everything that you're looking on the internet, it'll say doc type HTML public. It'll say that when you're looking at the code, when you right click and you go to view page source, right click on here. And you go to view page source since I already opened it up. I'll score it there, and this will come up, and it'll have a lot of some information that you have, but it won't show you exactly only the stuff that you have on your um, file that you created. Because if you have like WordPress or Drupal or Joomla or whatever, it'll also show all the plugins that are on there and everything, and it'll show all that that's being sh uh, loaded up onto your page and whatever you're calling out. If you're like doing PHP or whatever. And PHP can be confusing, so I'll be doing some separate tutorials for those who want to do WordPress and want to understand how to get past just doing HTML and CSS. Because you're not going to only need to know that, but you're going to need to know PHP as well. And, it, and it'll show all that a little bit when you're going to view page source. But mostly, uh, that's what and that's what that does. And then, uh, and then you can mess around with your uh, document and what and I'm in split mode and what split mode is it'll let, allow you to view let's type in try to put that in the body make sure I have it inside the body tag and then it would show up right there and then you click right there and then you could see that it, it shows up whatever you put onto your body that's what the split mode does and design what the design does it just allows allows you to view the design only and that's it. Mostly what I do is I play it in split mode. But sometimes when you have it in split mode it, it still won't show all the well all the stuff that you have. Like with PHP it'll just say PHP right there and I'll open up a PHP document that will not allow you to view it in split mode uh, exactly the way you want to view it. I'll go to file I'll go to open and I'll open up a PHP file. Let's see, let's go to Functions.php, and it won't really show exactly how it's going. Like all, like say we have uh, PHP coding and it's linking to an exact image, it won't show it exactly. And this is how it would come out. It won't show it completely. It'll show you the layout, how how it, it's going to generally look, but it won't show you completely how it's going to look. Just a little bit when you're messing around with PHP, and PHP is uh, really hard to understand. So uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials on PHP on how to get your uh, website going with WordPress using PHP. And WordPress has its own style uh, of coding with PHP. It has like WP and you type in whatever for the uh, stuff with PHP. And, and I ain't going to explain much on it until I get started on doing a tutorial on PHP. But that's what that does. Okay, and then let's close this. And then that's, and I showed you what HTML looks like. And then, like I said, there's like, say you want to go to new, let's get rid of this. Don't save that. We'll go to new uh, CSS, and I'll show you what CSS looks like a little bit. In Dreamweaver, let's go to new. I usually go to new, and I go to CSS right here. Okay, create a new CSS file. And this is what CSS will get started. You do that right there. I'm hoping one that I did with my, my theme that I'm using for WordPress that I created. I'll go to open and I'll go to my style.css. Right here, I'll open this. And this is what I have right here a little bit for my CSS. And it's not really much of anything right now. Because usually there's a lot more stuff in, in CSS 
that goes inside here. A lot of people when they do their websites and everything, a lot of web designers, they put a lot of information in their uh, CSS file. And you can see this looks like a lot to you for CSS, but uh, like right in here, all this, it's not really that much. And I tried, uh, like this ain't exactly how my uh, uh, theme is. I changed it up a little bit. Like right in here, I don't have it linking to any of these Flickr files or whatever. Some of this I tried selling from another website, trying to uh, limit uh, all the coding that I was doing. So you can still some coding from other websites a little bit and integrate that with your website. So you don't have to do all the coding. But uh, you're going to have to be careful a little bit because if you're trying to steal something from another website, you might have uh, trouble. Say you don't have the exact image or whatever of whatever it's linking to. You. Like say if you don't have blog, WP content themes, whatever, all this is linking to another file from another website so I would have to change that to link to whatever file I want it to link to or whatever but I would want it to be the same color or whatever and stuff like that and that's pretty much uh, how CSS files work and look inside of Dreamweaver you can, and, and you can see that this is grayed out and anything that's grayed out it won't let you uh, view it in live code or anything like that it's a CSS document so that's why so PHP and CSS, they really don't let you view it in live code or live view or whatever. PHP lets you, but it doesn't show you exactly, because that's just how PHP is, and that's just how uh, uh, CSS the, the CSS uh, files are. They just don't let you see it, because really, it, it, there's no meat really need to see it other than you're just going to have to know that you want it to be whatever color or you want to link to whatever images that you see on your website or whatever and that's pretty much it right there and then I'll go back to Dreamweaver and the layout is not really uh, that difficult compared to uh, other versions of it you could there's uh, I know when I used to use uh, Dreamweaver before it was uh, very confusing to me and now in CS5 it's pretty simple they, they give you references and stuff uh, how to get started it tells you what to do and it gives you tips right there how to get started and then uh, also Adobe has their own uh, support system where you can click right in somewhere like right there it has uh, support information like some of the Adobe programs that you're using like if you're using like After Effects or whatever one you have since I have the uh, uh, complete set with almost every single Adobe program that that's out there I, ha I have a, a very good uh, support thing like for like Photoshop it has an area where you could go to the support system and it'll take you to their website we could have uh they have like live chatting to support you and stuff and they have that and stuff and that's pretty much it uh right here and then right in here this is just uh managing your sites whenever you're doing if you have different folders like down in here if you have a new folder wherever it's located it'll be pointing to that and you would have to need you you would have to create a new folder or whatever if you're whatever you're doing on your website if you're building a new site or whatever you're trying to do you're gonna have to build a folder for it so that Dreamweaver could uh, link to those files and know where to put them and everything when you're building a website. And that's pretty much how all websites work if you're doing anything like an FTP server or anything that's that's even not even Dreamweaver or whatever you would still need to create folders and everything to organize all your documents and everything and then that's pretty much it on this uh, uh, beginners tutorial on Dreamweaver if you want to know a lot more and if there's something specifically you need to know in Dreamweaver, just let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that. I would like to do a lot more web design tutorials. I'm going to get started in my next tutorial. I would like to start doing, uh, getting started with uh, WordPress on coding and stuff like that, showing you how they work together with PHP and HTML. You can, even though, like, if you have a PHP file and you want to put HTML uh, coding in there, it'll it'll read that as well. What PHP is, it's mostly just for blogging and whatever you're trying to do. Like if you have WordPress or you have uh, anything else that is a uh, uh, blog, anything that's a blog, it'll it reads PHP files. 
and you would have to mess around with PHP coding a little bit. And I think the most confusing when doing web design is PHP because it's really difficult and it's the hardest out of anything. Harder than HTML, it's harder than CSS. And CSS is a little confusing uh, more than HTML, but I say the hardest is PHP because all of that is like messing around with stuff like confusing coding with variables and it works with math a little bit but not exactly like using 5 plus 5 like that kind of math or 5 times 5 it just uh, works with math in a different way like doing it with with the coding like like it'll say dollar sign for like variables and it'll say stuff like I'll show you what what I mean a little bit I'll go to open and I'll go to like archives or another document I'll open uh, let's see what document it has I'll go to functions because that has a lot of stuff where it says functions so where's functions right here and like this this is a variable right here uh, it's uh, linking to content with you want it to be 450 however like that and it's linking to that and that's the variable you see all this variable ahead it's a variable output that's what the dollar sign means it means variable for PHP and then there's and then right here it's like you do header image uh, the h1 how you want it to be like that a little bit and there's ifs and all that and I'll show you what this all means uh, when I get started in uh, doing a beginners WordPress tutorial blogging tutorial how to get started with blogging with WordPress because WordPress it works with this a little bit with the PHP and stuff but it also has its own coding style which it'll say WP and you would have to uh, link to the WP inside the uh, Codex uh, area of, of WordPress which it has a special section of their website for the Codex where it shows you all the all the template coding a little bit and you would have to know how to integrate that into your website so I'm going to show you how to integrate the Codex uh, stuff with WordPress I'm using PHP and stuff like that and then if you have any questions with HTML or CSS or whatever I'm going to show you how to do that just let me know what questions you have for web design or whatever that's basically what this tutorial is all about just asking uh, people whatever questions they have and then getting started on on uh, Dreamweaver a little bit whatever questions you have because I don't know what how much people know and how much they don't know and I want to uh, do tutorials uh, uh, inside of WordPress that people uh, will make it easier for people to understand because I know a lot of tutorials out there to just show you the plugins and they just show you the boring crap that doesn't really show you anything and I want to show you exactly how to get started on a website and uh, who knows you might be too confusing to the point where where you just might want me to do your website for you or whatever. If you want me to do your website uh, for you, I'll charge you uh, 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 to do your website. I don't know how much to charge yet because I haven't really done anything with uh, web designing for other people yet. I'm kind of new to all this, like with the charging everybody and stuff like that. So I haven't really done anything with that yet. But I know a good deal of coding and stuff like that. Enough to uh, make a really, really cool website. Like, I know, like, all the PHP and stuff like that. I don't know all of it, but I know enough to, like, do some really cool stuff. Like, you could see with my website, I you can tell that I know a pretty good uh, deal of HTML and CSS and PHP. And that's it. I hope you uh, find this tutorial useful and understanding a little bit how to get started in Dreamweaver. And understanding that uh, if you need any help, just let me know because uh, I want to uh, help you out in web design. I want to help you out in more than just doing video editing and more than just doing uh, uh, photo editing and stuff like that. Because I've done uh, Photoshop tutorials. I've done Final Cut, which is for Mac. I've done tutorials in that, editing stuff in there, doing videos. And I've done Sony Vegas editing for Windows. And I've, and I've done a lot of other stuff. I've done a few HTML tutorials, like a couple, but I would like to do a lot more. But in this video, I just want to uh, ask people what they want to see in HTML or CSS or PHP, what they want to know, where so I know where to get started in my next tutorial. That's it. See you later. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, uh, ask me your questions. Uh, throw them at me. Whatever questions you have with web design so I can 
know where to start for my next tutorial.